Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Zoe and today is the day. It is the 17th, it is my birthday and we're picking up the new animal today. And since it's gonna be in the title, I can finally tell you we're picking up a tegu. So I'm picking her up at 11 o'clock. It's just after eight o'clock. So I'm gonna go work out, take a shower, eat breakfast, and then we're gonna go and pick her up. So I haven't posted the getting ready for my secret animal yet, um, that video, but I'm sure when I do, a lot of you are gonna get it right, considering I've gotten a lot of messages on Instagram from people who have been guessing correctly. So I'm gonna guess a lot of you probably got it right. So I'll tell you a little bit about her real quick before my workout. Um, she's three years old, she's a female, she's the cutest, sweetest little thing. Her name is Muppet. Um, I'll probably keep her name, I haven't officially decided yet, but it's grown on me. So I'll probably keep her name Muppet. I couldn't pass her up, because you know, I want a Tegu anyway. I said when I moved and got a house I was gonna get a Tegu. It wasn't really my plan right now, but then Muppet happened. And Muppet, is she's been or she has done education programs in the past so she's already a trained education animal um the family she's coming from has three very small children all of which hang out with muppet play with muppet they'll hold muppet they'll pet muppet and i got to witness that and muppet was very tolerable muppet was amazing so she's quite literally the perfect ambassador animal like, there's not going to be a more perfect tegu for education programs than Muppet. So, I made it work. I found a spot, I made it work. So, we're gonna go pick her up today, and I'm very excited. So, yeah, I'm gonna go do my workout, and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, we are on our way to get her. Um, first, I'm gonna stop at Home Depot because I need to restock on basking lights, and like I said in my last video, I need a power strip so I can plug in all her lights. Um, I went to Walmart yesterday with the intentions of getting more basking lights and they were flat out of halogen bulbs. So back to Home Depot I go. So I'm gonna get some of those, get a power strip, and then we're gonna go get her. So I don't know exactly what she's gonna fit in. So I have a, I have a cat carrier with me. I'm hoping she fits in this because like it's got a handle and it's super easy to carry so I think she will otherwise I've got a big black bin in the back there to put her in. It's always hard to give an animal like a week to just relax get used to their new surroundings. I always try to give my new animals a week to just chill out before I handle them or anything. Um, it's always difficult. But this one especially is going to be difficult because, like, it's a freaking tegu. All I'm going to want to do is sit around and play with it because it's basically a tiny dog. So, I mean, I am going to take her out, especially if it's nice outside, because she's a big lizard. You know, big lizards don't need to be stuck in their enclosures all the time. Um, so I'll probably give her the day to just hang out. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I can give her tomorrow just chill too. And then I think it's gonna be nice again. So I'll probably bring her outside and hang out with her out there. So yeah, well, I will give you an update whenever I have the next update, whether it's there or after I get her. Um, I feel weird about filming at people's houses. Um, so I probably won't do that. I'll probably just film after I leave the house and I've got her and you guys will finally get to meet her. Here we go y'all. We're here. Alright guys, we got her. You know, I, I felt so bad for them because they really, they love their tegus. This was a really, really hard decision for them to make, but they have a lot of reptiles and 
you know, they realized they needed to downsize and that they got over their heads. And they've got some big reptiles. Right now they're babies, but you know, someday they're gonna need a lot of room. And I think they realized that, you know, she admitted they got in over their heads and they needed to downsize. And they had two tegus, they had a male and a female. And I guess the male belongs to one of their kids, technically. So you can imagine what would happen if they decided to rehome the kids take you. So they ended up rehoming Muppet. Um, you know, they all said goodbye to her. You could tell it was bittersweet. But you know, I did let them know if we ever open again at the Nature Center, um, cause right now we're still closed and we don't really know when we're opening. We thought we were gonna open in July, but here it is almost the end of July and we're very clearly not opening. Um, so I told them if we ever open again, you can always come visit Muppet at the Nature Center because that's where I do my programs right now because I can't afford insurance to start my own education business but because I work at the Nature Center they let me do my programs there so I told them if we ever open again you can always come visit Muppet when I do my education programs at the Nature Center can you guys really see you can't really see maybe oh you can kind of see part of her body there, there's her body can't see her head. Where's her head? You guys will have to wait till I get home. I'm really not good at guesstimating. I paid a little more attention to her current enclosure while I was there. It looks like maybe it's roughly the same size as the grow tent, like in length. It's definitely the same in depth. Um, in length, the grow tent might be a little longer. I'm not really sure. I'm not positive. The grow tent is definitely taller. Um, I'm not sure what they had for heating and lighting in her enclosure because it was dark um, and it's not very tall so you can't really fit a lamp or anything in there. So I don't know what she's had for heating and lighting. Um, again, I didn't really take a good look at the enclosure. But yeah, so we're on our way home. I think I'll probably stick her in the bathtub and just rinse her off um, because she did have some dirt in her enclosure. So I remember when we went to see her last week, um, she was pretty dirty. <laughs> but obviously, cause you know, when you're in dirt, you get dirty. So before I put her in her clean quarantine enclosure, I think I'll probably just give her a quick little rinse off, make sure she's nice and clean. Well, hi there, Muppet. Here she is. Hi, Muppet. Hi, pretty girl. You're so cute. Look at those big eyes. Hi. All right, I've got the shower running. And we're going to put her in. Hi. We'll have to see if this gets her to poop, too, before she goes in her cleaning closet. Girl must have been thirsty. She's been just soaking up the water and drinking. Okay. You're so pretty. Yeah, yeah, you're so pretty. Oh, do you want you ready to come out? I think you're all clean. I've got a Muppet Rito. Alright, she's going into her new home. I still have to put water in her tub. I'll do that next. But I wanted to go ahead and get her in here. dog bed. Aw, you're so sweet. What do you think? Do you want your towel? Huh? Do you want your towel? Now she has something to bury under. I didn't bring you down here so you could wander around. I brought you down here so you could go into your new enclosure. You basking? Alright, you bask. I'm gonna go get water to fill your water dish. 
Okay, so I guess I did size this all right. Two bricks are a must have for our basking area. Um, she's loving it so far. I left her down here basking and she just made herself comfortable. Such a pretty girl. So I'm honestly not sure if she had UVB, but she's got UVB now. But like I said, I didn't really look in her enclosure. I didn't pay much attention to it. So I don't know what lighting or heating she had or didn't have. Um, so all I know is what she's got now. And she's so cute. Oh my God, I love her. Just basking. Oh, sorry. So I was gonna post this video tomorrow since I just posted my preparing for my new animal video. This will be two days in a row, but if I can get this edited, I might upload it today. So two videos in one day, um, because I can't wait to post her and share her with you guys. So I'm probably just gonna upload it today and just make it a double upload day. So as you're watching this, it is actually my birthday. Yay, I am 23 today, whoop, whoop. I think. Yes, I am 23 today. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more of Muppet, or the other animals, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. And I'm gonna go put her water dish now because apparently one pitcher didn't really do much. So we're gonna fill this sucker up and let her relax. And yeah, so we'll see you for the next video.